coming. I'll try to make this quick. I know you're very busy. The big story, as you all know, is uh, the war on Ukraine. Not a woe, really, but um, I appreciate the enthusiasm. Um, where the Russians are bombing civilians uh, while saying they aren't. The Ukrainians are not giving up. They're showing great courage in the shadow of the murder of Vladimir Putin, a man whose list of admirers is now down to Tucker Carlson and Donald Trump. Even, <laughs> even famously neutral Switzerland is taking action against Russia. Switzerland, the people who never take a side are taking a side on this. They've frozen Russian assets and closed Swiss airspace. So yeah. this is good and helpful. And now not only is Putin in hot water, he's in hot chocolate, too. <laughs> the Swiss president said, Russia's attack cannot be accepted regarding international law. This cannot be accepted politically. This cannot be accepted morally. And these are the people who gave Hitler a safe deposit box. So he announced the sanctions this afternoon. The Swiss people will not condone this unacceptable act of aggression. Ricola. <laughs> so, so to recap, Russia now has lost the Taliban and the Swiss. The most and least violent people in the world are united against Russia right now. Even Putin's personal bank accounts have been frozen. The ruble plummeted today. Russian citizens are panicking. There are long lines at banks in Moscow, people trying to get as much cash as possible. FIFA suspended Russia from the World Cup, and the IOC is recommending that Russian athletes get banned from the Olympics. Now they want to ban them from the Olympics. But <laughs> one of the few bright spots in all of this, though, has been set, uh, the example set by this man. You know who that is? That's the president of Ukraine, Zelensky. That's him. He was, <laughs> he was, um, has shown great courage and uh, is a hell of a swing dancer, too. You know, before he was president, he was a comedian. He played the president of Ukraine on a comedy show and then became the president. That video was from, he was on the Ukrainian version of Dancing with the Stars, and he won, by the way. He was also the guy, Zelensky, on the other end of that perfect call with the celebrity extortionist Donald Trump. Donald McDonald was uh, quarter pounding his little fists at CPAC this weekend, explaining in no detail whatsoever why he believes bigly that there would be no war if he was still in office. But with respect to what's going on now, it would have been so easy for me to stop this travesty from happening. He understood me, and he understood that I didn't play games. This would not have happened. Someday I'll tell you exactly what we talked about. But we talked about it. And he did have an affinity, there's no question about it, for Ukraine. I said, never let it happen. You better not let it happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure the conversation went just exactly like that. Someday he'll tell us. What does he think this is? How I Met Your Dictator? This is... <laughs> it, it, the idea that Putin understood he doesn't play games, all... Donald Trump does is play games. He hosted a game show. He, he is a game, by the way. Look at that, he sold Trump the game. Trump also said NATO wouldn't exist if it wasn't for him, uh, which, <laughs> what is it with this guy? Without you, there'd be no NATO. NATO's been around 73 years. Did you also invent rap? <laughs> Without me, there would be no African bombata. There, I don't know about you, but I am not particularly interested in hearing Captain Bonespur's thoughts on war when his only military credentials are leading an attack on his own vice president at the Capitol, but there is a war going on. You'd think we'd all be on the same page. Be an American for one minute and shut up. Even the clown from It took a few years off between terrorizing children. <laughs> Trump boasted and whined for 85 minutes at CPAC, and I don't know how this didn't wind up on the front page of every news website, but it would seem that he finally has proof that the election was stolen from him. One of the worst scandals ever, I call it the crime of the century, ballot harvesting as it gets released, and it's all on tape. It's all on tape. With over 2,000 ballot stuffers, or as they call them, mules. They call them mules. These are ballot stuffers. We have it on tape. It's all on tape, and it's coming out over the next three weeks. It's all on tape. All right. It's all on tape. That, a tape none of us will ever see. It's, let's mark the calendar for three weeks from now, see if we ever get a look at that tape. The, I don't know, maybe the My Pillow guy has it in the, in the back of his truck. It's in the lockbox, and he can't find the key or something. They'll get it, though. And maybe the most infuriating 
talking point of all is this insane lie he continues to peddle that no one was harder on Putin than him. No one was harder for Putin than him. Let's put it that way. <laughs> but this is a tough one for Donald Trump because if Biden's sanctions work and Russia runs out of money in 2024, there'll be no one to fund his campaign. He sees this whole thing. He doesn't care about Ukrainian people. He's decided to make this war about Donald Trump. Uh, it would not have happened if our administration were in place. Uh, not even close. This would not have happened during my administration. This would have never happened, ever in a million years. This would have never happened. We're in a very bad position right now, and it would have, as I said, it would never have happened. So now you have a problem in Ukraine, which you would have never had under my administration. That would have never happened. I had a very good relationship with Putin. Uh, very simple. It wouldn't have happened. By the way, this never would have happened with us because it wouldn't have happened. Right. It wouldn't have happened because it wouldn't have happened. How could it have happened? If it didn't happen, it doesn't make any sense. I happen to agree that Putin would have, been, have invaded if Trump were president, but for the same reason you don't have to invade Papa John's to get an ultimate pepperoni pizza. They deliver. <laughs> and then Trump announced that he once again plans to run for president of the United States. The socialists, globalists, Marxists, and communists who are attacking our civilization have no idea of the sleeping giant they have awoken. We are a sleeping giant. November 2024, they will find out like never before. We did it twice, and we'll do it again. We're going to be doing it again a third time. That's right. The emperor speaks. And while the... Um People of Ukraine fight back. Americans are fighting back, too, in our own ways, expressing disapproval uh, at the actions of the Russian government at the bar. One former NFL star who is now a restaurant owner is also pulling Russian-made vodka from his menus. We got to get a message over there to the people to get on their leader, Putin, and let them know they're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> well, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Give him hell, Broadway Joe. That's how he beat the Colts in the Super Bowl. He stopped buying vodka from them. And <laughs> Russia has been trying to control what their citizens see on social media. They don't want ordinary Russians to know what they're up to, so Putin blocked them from using Twitter. That's one of the big differences between Russia and the United States. In Russia, the president blocks Twitter. Over here, Twitter blocks the president. <laughs> but these, um, the sanctions, though, caused Russian OnlyFans models. Are they models? I don't know, but they got locked out of their accounts over the week. You know OnlyFans is the platform where you, you pay every month to see people naked. I know your, your wives are sitting next to you and you have to pretend you don't. <laughs> but you do, you do. So over the weekend, OnlyFans, uh, their entertainers were locked out of the accounts, which is not what the White House intended. So today, a spokesman for the DOD addressed that uh, to clarify our intent when it comes to sanctions. However, I wanted to clear something up. These sanctions do not apply to Russian creators on OnlyFans. They are still free to make any of the following types of videos. Solo, group, hand, foot, foot massage, foot bath, foot worship, bondage, heavy bondage, heavy, heavy bondage, electrostimulation, humiliation, electrohumiliation, breath play, butt play, impact play, wax play, puppy play, wife swapping, hot wifing, cuckolding, milking, teasing, pinching, plugging, or anything filmed in or around a quote unquote bang bus. Yes. Can you tell us more about the puppy play? I'll send you some links. No further questions. Uh, you know, the only thing more powerful than democracy is pornography. There's yet another tell-all book about uh, the Trump presidency on the way called One Damn Thing After Another. It's written by his former attorney general, Bill Barr. You may remember Bill Barr as the uh, guy who shamelessly lied about what was in the Mueller report. He says that during the final months of the administration, he realized that Trump cared only about one thing himself, 
Uh, country and principle took second place. Took them until the final months to figure that out, huh? <laughs> no, I came to that conclusion after one episode of The Apprentice, but <laughs> among other revelations, Barr says he believes the election was not stolen, Trump lost, and he urges the Republican Party to move on. He wrote, Donald Trump has shown he has neither the temperament nor persuasive powers to provide the kind of positive leadership that is needed. And while it seems awfully convenient for yet another Trump enabler to now try to distance himself and cash in. Working for Trump was actually particularly stressful for Bill Barr. You can see here, this is after he worked for Trump for two years. This is what he looked like when he started, when he <laughs> was, yes. And so, you know, there are a lot of bad, crazy, and bad, crazy people out there. And it would seem that I am one of them, and maybe even two of them. So there's a guy who wrote a book called The Storm Is Upon Us. He found uh, the arrest and execution list that QAnon put together. This is a list of all the celebrities and world leaders who have supposedly been arrested and or executed. It's a long list. There are a couple hundred names on it, from Queen Elizabeth, Joe Biden to Meryl Streep. And turns out, um, you can see here, my name is on it too there. Apparently, I've been arrested and I'm awaiting tribunal. What is tri, yes, yeah, awaiting tribunal. I don't know what that, what a way to find out though. My name comes right after Bernie Sanders, who's in Guantanamo, and Boris Johnson, who has, uh, they say, been executed. And I'm ahead of the Baldwin brothers, Alec and Billy, who have both been executed, and three-time Oscar winner Jack Nicholson, who sadly has also been executed, but still manages to get it to a lot of Lakers games. Now, um, you might be wondering how is it possible that Jimmy Kimmel has been arrested and is awaiting tribunal when I see him standing right in front of me talking about this, well, that's where this woman from Facebook comes in. Her name's Wendy. She says, once arrests and executions of famous people are completed, these people have a double or clone that was put in place to make people think they're still around, which is quite, I mean, a hell of a plan. They must have hatched this when I was born because my clone and I are the same age. Can you believe I'm a clone, Guillermo? Congratulations. Maybe you're a clone too. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. I wish I'd known I was a clone. I could be in Vegas right now enjoying myself. Anyway, I'm not sure who I am or where I am. Maybe we're all inmates in a clone prison right now, but I want to thank Wendy for tipping me off. All I know is that whomever I happen to be, that individual has a top quality show for you tonight. Jimmy O. Yang is here. We have music from Avril Lavigne. And we will be right back with Courtney Cox. So stick around. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.